Now I've got my press all together, it's looking nice, but there's something I don't like about it. One is that this chain is too tight and it causes the, 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 the pressure screw to kind of jerk when I, when I turn it, not even. I don't like that. That's not the way it's supposed to be. It wasn't designed to be that way. It's supposed to go smoothly. The other thing is, it seems like there's too much space between the bed and the side piece. I'm going to fix that now by taking the bed off and changing the distance between these two sides in here. This distance can't change. That's fixed by the width of the hood. But these sides can be brought in slightly and that will probably give me a little slack on the chain so it'll go more smoothly and it will reduce the space a little bit on each side of the bed. So, the first step is to loosen the screws and then move the jam nuts in just a little bit. I'm going to do it for the top and the bottom. Now I'll tighten that's better. That moves more smoothly now. And take the bed out. And do the same for these two. But, there's one more thing to consider. This collar is a fixed distance uh, when I started out, so it has to be moved too because, look, you can't turn the wheel. So, I use the Allen wrench, the 564 Allen wrench, the little one, and loosen the set screw on, on the collar. back it off just enough so that the wheel turns freely and then tighten the set screw on the collar back again I'll replace the bed Uh-oh, looks like I overdid it. I tightened it so much that there's not enough space for it to move here. So that means I go back and bring it back out again. Be very careful with these aluminum heads. They won't might take um, much wear and tear. Hold that Phillips screwdriver in there very tightly. Now that's going to be correct. And then retighten the jam nut. On the top and the bottom. When I made this adjustment, I only worked on the passive side. I left the active side alone. That's much better. I like that. When I started out, there was a lot of space in here. 
and when the video wasn't running, I made a small adjustment here. I backed off the nut on the end, the jam nut on the end, and I moved that screw back in a bit. And that brought these two sides um, in slightly, so now there's very little space. That's the way I like it. It's like fine-tuning. My etching presses are, to me, like musical instruments are to the musical artist, uh, like the guitar or the piano or the, uh, the clarinet. They're part wood, part steel. Uh, they're very beautiful, and uh, they require some fine-tuning, and that's why I make these videos. And if you're wondering about the backdrop that you can see in the background, uh, many times I'll make snapshots of the presses uh, and put them up on the web or share them 